So we are planning to go out today, you know, go to the church and maybe walk around New York City. And I'm planning to bring this camera with me. Uh, that's the plan for today. Uh, hopefully, I can show you around in Times Square. Of course, it's always Times Square. So I'm near to Times Square. That's why I always go there. Sometimes Bryant Park. Sometimes uh, around New York City. You know? This setup is ridiculously heavy. Wow. Look at that. But if you wanna sacrifice for the, uh, what you call this? The quality of the video. I mean, this is vlogable, but it's too damn heavy for me. And I don't know if I can vlog with this. Um, before I went out using this camera, I used it handheld. I didn't include the, uh, uh, what you call this the tripod but with the tripod itself it's still very heavy I can I don't know I don't know I'm just doing like this before I'm just uh, extending my reach when I'm blogging but today <laughs> this is kind of different this is ridiculously heavy I don't know this is not for me oh my god so this is the uh, initial setup that I got for my Canon R5C. Uh, as you can see, I got a small rig cage, which is the uh, black mamba over here. And then I uh, just put on the top the, um, the small rig as well. Uh, this is the B-mount uh, plate adapter, I think. Yes, I will link it up. Uh, down in the description below if you want to purchase this bad boy um, I think this is like $20 in BNH I got it there so of course the FX lion the nano one I'm just gonna slide it like this I put the battery first because you cannot put the uh, the, uh, the mic when uh, I mean yeah you cannot put the battery when you have the mic already and then you gotta of course put the, uh, the USB-C on the side and then of course there's a cold shoe mount in here that you can put your any kind of mic that you prepare so yeah this is gonna be the setup that I'm gonna use for today for vlogging, of course. As I haven't seen any uh, uh, YouTuber, I mean, I, I've seen some, but uh, they're not using it for vlogging uh, actually. So, yeah, let's try to um, vlog with it. Oh, before I forgot, of course. You gotta need a tripod. So this is what I did. I put an adapter on the Tokina 11 to 16, and then I'm gonna put it on my uh, uh, Canon R5C, and let's see how wide it is. I'm gonna use a Super 35 uh, sensor because of if I use the uh, full frame it's gonna be a vignette on, on the side so let's do this now. Now I am on the 11 to 16 Tukina but I didn't put it in a Super 35 mode. I'm on full frame. I don't know if you can see a little vignette on the top side and then the other side too uh, 
but there is like a distortion you know but this is okay I mean this is nice it's white uh, no uh, stabilization as I say I don't know it's gonna be shaky and my lens is too noisy I, know, I don't know if you can hear it but I can hear the noise of the Tokina 11 to 16 that I'm using right now but I think this is okay this is blackable this is nice so see it's so wide but it's like like a GoPro thing it's like there's a I don't know how you describe it it's like GoPro so yeah here is my setup yeah if you can see I don't know here where here or there look at that it's what it is good I'm gonna use this setup often now I didn't know that I can use this setup last time I used this this was terrible terrible setup but now wow look at that yeah damn this is nice I hope you like this short video and if you got any question regarding my setup please uh, hit me up on the comment section below as always don't forget to leave a like subscribe to you comment below tell me about my video today I'm gonna be seeing you on the next one